Hey guys, Jordan here with the Jimmock Channel, and I am here with a long-awaited guest, Josh. He is our local gun enthusiast, and he is here today to bring you some more gun reviews, cleaning videos, whatever we can do today. Anyway, Josh, you have the stage. All right, thank you. Yes, sir. So today we are doing a Camelo Arms... AR-15, Pittsburgh Tactical sells it. Pretty sure you can find it at Gander Martin, uh, Cabela's, wherever you decide to buy guns at. And Bass Pro Shops, yeah. The country. I have yet to fire it. I just purchased it a couple weeks ago. But it's a good rifle, stainless steel barrel, 5.56 rated. And since I got into that part, the rounds. This is your 223, and this is your 5.56. If you notice a very slight size difference in the size of round. 556, 223. Never fire a 556 out of a 223 barrel. You will mess your gun up. You could fire a 223 out of a 556, but it's not recommended. It could still possibly do damage, it could throw off your accuracy, so on and so forth. So get with bullets are recommended for your gun. So, AR-15, breech is clear. Just always make sure that your breech is clear. Well, let's pull it back, close it. You know it's empty, there's no magazine in there. You know it's not gonna go off. It is a very foolproof weapon. But now, the Pterodon, just doing a uh, basic field strip today, and I got a couple of uh, accessories for it I'm gonna throw on and hopefully if anybody has the uh, MOE style hand guards that have any questions or any curiosities about how to put your parts onto it this will help show you how to do it but first we're gonna do the field strip but you got two pins one in the back one in the front just push them out with your thumb Pop it out, hold it together, pop the other pin out. They stay in place so you don't lose them. There's your upper, there's your lower. Pull that back. Your entire bolt comes out. Set that aside. And this comes right out. There's a small notch inside that it falls through so as you're pulling back on it the rest of the way make sure you keep some downward pressure on it and it'll pop right out and that is your basic field strip of the AR-15 all models are exactly the same pretty much from my understanding I don't think they make them any different I mean you have the PSA, the M&P, Colt. Now putting them back together, simple. Put your carrier in, then your bolt. Lock it forward. <coughs> they all usually have a spring lock right here on the uh, bolt carrier, which will lock into place whenever it's fully shut and it won't come out. Then all you do, pop the front one in, line them up, and pops back together. Good to go. 